Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got this uh, big uh, rectangle ABCD whose uh, area is 1080 square units. And within this uh, rectangle, we got eight identical uh, rectangles as you can see in this uh, figure. And now we are going to calculate the perimeter of this rectangle ABCD. And please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. We know that the area of this bigger rectangle ABCD is 1080. And we also know that we have eight identical rectangles inside this big rectangle. So therefore the area of this each small rectangle is going to be 1080 divided by 8 and that is going to be 135 square units and here's our next step let's assume that the dimensions of these individual rectangles be x and y let me call these length as x x x since they're in identical so they're going to have a same length and likewise the width is going to be y for each and every individual rectangle and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula area equals to length times width so therefore the area of each rectangle is going to be length in our case is x and width is y but we know that the area of individual rectangle is 135 so therefore we can write x times y equals to 135 let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number one and here's our next step let's make some observation on this side the length of this big rectangle is x plus x plus x is going to be 3x and if we look at on the other side of this rectangle it is going to give us 5y and since this length is equivalent to this one so therefore we can equate 3x equals to 5y so therefore we can write 3x equal to 5y now we are going to solve for x let's divide both sides by 3 so x turns out to be 5y over 3 and now we are going to substitute this one into this equation 1. And here's our equation 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So x in our case is 5y divided by 3. And then times y equals to 135. This could be written as 5y squared divided by 3 equals to 135 and now let's go ahead and uh, multiply by the reciprocal which is going to be 3 fifth on this side and 3 fifth on this side as well so these are gone so we ended up with simply y square turns out to be if we simplify all these that's going to give us uh, 81 let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides so y turns out to be positive or negative 9 and now we know that y represents the distance and distance must be positive so therefore our y value is going to be simply positive 9 and here's our next step we figured out our y value is 9 and now we are going to calculate x value so let's go ahead and plug it in this y equals to 9 value in this equation 1 and here's our equation 1 x times y equals to 135 and our y value is 9 so this is going to become 9x equal to 135 now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 9 so x value turns out to be 
15. And here's our next step. We know our length x turns out to be 15 and width y is 9. And now we are going to calculate the length and width of this big rectangle ABCD. And now we can see that this whole length is going to be 15 plus 15 plus 15 is going to be 45. And likewise on this side, if we add up all these numbers, that's going to be 45 as well as you can see over here. And likewise, its width is going to be 9 plus 15 is 24. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the perimeter of this rectangle ABCD now. And here's the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter is always equal to sum of all these sides. So the perimeter of this rectangle ABCD is going to be simply we're going to add up all these sides. 45 plus 24 plus 45 and then plus 24. So thus our perimeter turns out to be 138. Thus the perimeter of this rectangle ABCD turns out to be 138 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.